Hello, this is kind of a weird way to start it off, but this is a normal mission part, except I'm in the actual mission here. Hello, welcome back to Grand Theft Auto Vice City. And before uh, doing the mission called Guardian Angels, is what this mission is called, which I'm in right now, I'm going to acquire... This is a, a guy, an important guy. Pop his head off. And yeah, they're shooting at me. Check your fire. Yeah, mission failed. Now, you're probably wondering what I'm doing. Well, this, this admiral right here, you might look at it and like hey it's like the same admiral that uh was uh what, what was I gonna say? oh yeah the same admiral that uh we drove at the beginning of the game it's not the same exact one but uh it sure looks like it because they're both white and what this admiral is it's a uh, damage proof fireproof explosion proof and bulletproof admiral so it's basically indestructible not all the way indestructible because there's ways you can destroy it such as flipping the car or um, putting the car on the water or Look, smashing the car with a tank those are ways you can destroy this car but the four important uh, things about the car they're approved and you're probably wondering well for a future mission I'm gonna buy this safe house because um this is the cheapest safe house that has a garage, and I need to put this vehicle in a garage for a later mission in the game that I cannot be until I, unless I have an indestructible car with me, so that's what I'm doing. So I already bought this safe house, even though I'm supposed to be saving the safe houses for a part later on, but, but, uh, for, for the part where we buy all the safe houses, I'm just gonna say, oh, I already bought the safe houses in Guardian Angels, that way I could acquire this vehicle, so, that's our first special vehicle of Vice City that we've acquired, the Indestructible Admiral. There are also, there are not many fireproof and bulletproof vehicles in this game, stuff like that, but there are a lot of unique colored vehicles in this game, such as the EC Black Admiral, the Black Pony, the Black Voodoo, a lot of those. So yeah, there's a, even though, the, even though it has a garage, there's a car parked uh, right next to the safe house or in the safe house so it's just somewhere you can save you can't actually go inside and also there's no weapons there so there's only three safe houses in this game that have your weapons and your clothes but uh, all the other ones you just buy for 100 percent completion and that one costs six six thousand dollars which usually in the beginning in the game you'd be short on money but uh because we got hidden packages and all that look at our money so we're we're all right for now and that is until we actually buy a business. If I bought the pole position club right now, I'd be screwed on money. But now, um, but now that we have acquired that vehicle, we're going to start the legit mission and do it. So I want to drive down Ocean Beach here. This, I'm actually showing the way to get there now. Well, you did in the party, but the game. <laughs> almost fell in the water there, but here it is, Guardian Angels. Which is the part we actually unlock a mini island for this mission. Well, after a phone call, but... Tomas, I appreciate your coming. Forgive me for getting straight to business. Diaz has asked me to oversee a minor business transaction. Let's hope it goes better than last time. Which is why I thought of you, my friend. I've dropped some protection at the multi-story car park. Pick it up. Then go and watch over Diaz's men at the drop-off. Gracias, amigo. Diaz, huh. Apparently that angry midget runs this madhouse. Let's see what that creep has to do with things. Alright, another is Tommy Psycho. Okay, where am I going? Alright, I'm gonna go down the car park and get a vehicle this time. Um, hey, what the fuck? Wait, what the fuck? Are you seeing what I'm seeing right now? What the fuck? How is there a car driving in the... Okay. I'm sorry I'm getting so high-pitched like that, but what the fuck is this? Dude, there are people driving in here. I never had that happen. <laughs> wow. Wow. Wow, what a fucking glitch. What the hell? I already... 
we're gonna drive in a furnace in this mission, so so I really don't. Uh, you are listening to VCPR. I really don't want to drive this car. I want to find a different car, better one. Not the taxi. Pressing issues, but as is normal, not taking a taxi. To an hour's worth of programming on this station. I don't know why, but I have this obsession of driving it's different cars and parts. Here on VCPR, oh, where we hold your favorite shows cool. hostage until you pony up some cash. You know, never had that happen to me before. There was random people driving in the underground car park. Probably like fell through the floor or something, but what the hell? Um, I don't know, this is in the way. I'm trying to get across from here to go to the car park. Wow. <laughs> wow. But this ain't the real multi-story. It's it's more like near the mall area that's the multi-story car park because it's, it's just like GTA 3. But this is one car park in this game and it's not bad actually. You know, there's an offer of mission here. But here's our I already got an assault rifle from the last mission. But here's a one assault rifle which you get, which is called a Kruger. But there's a better one in the game. All the action I see. Look, you want to do something other than just shadowing me everywhere? Why don't you come along and show me if you're any use? I might just do that. The name's Lance, by the way. Tommy Versetti. Let's go. Tommy Versetti. Let's go. Yeah. We're going to hear that. We're going to hear that quote another time in the game. But, uh, again, we're driving in the white and furnace. And here's this guy, Lance, again. And he actually introduces himself. So it's confirmed that his name is Lance Vance. And we know that Tommy Versetti is Tommy Versetti. So... So now we're going to drive to this deal, and we're going to get some guys killed and our money stolen again. No, it's actually going to be better this time. Although, we wish that this deal would be busted, because this guy doesn't deserve to... Okay, I won't, I'm trying not to spoil anything, but here's the where the deal's taking place, and that's the white indestructible admiral that I took. And we're back to the point in the mission where we are. You must be Coltese's new gun until more gainful opportunities arise. He'll be here any minute. We both better get a good vantage point. Okay, I'll take the balcony. You get the roof across the yard. Right, so that guy I shoot, shot in the head to fail the mission was uh, because I wanted to fail the mission. That was Ricardo Diaz, who we are meeting in this mission. Here come the Cubans. What? Watch over the deal to make sure Diaz and Lance are safe. No, it's right, so get out my assault rifle and just this is how you're normally supposed to do the mission but it's really hard for me to aim with this thumbstick so I'm just gonna do it like uh, I'm, I'm gonna shoot with this at first but when I'm see that I'm not doing such a good job I'm I'm gonna use the Uzi so here we go these are Cubans and they're on our side for now they're a gang and this is a Haitian another gang which uh, okay shoot shoot okay yeah, this is this way is much easier for me. Just, you don't. So, yeah. Um, there is a bit of dialogue there that's cut, and he says they think they can take on Ricardo Diaz because I have the Haitian-friendly version of this game. So, which means that dialogue was cut that that mentions Haitians. So, what he really says is these Haitians think they can cut not cut cut uh, take on Ricardo Diaz. Yeah. So there's a lot of cars here. There are voodoo cars, which is what the Haitians drive. So these are two gangs in Vice City. So we're meeting Vice City gangs now. And Cuban gang and the Haitian gang are rivals. But uh, I have the Haitian-friendly version of this game, which means songs. some songs were cut in this game too, such as Bark of the Moon and V-Rock, Wow on Emotion, Anuga Nuga and Espantoso, and Flash FM songs such as Billie Jean, Running with the Night and Fever 105. Want to be starting something? All, all songs were, all those songs were cut out. But now here's another cut dialogue. My money. I don't know why he speaks like. My money. Here's the cut dialogue. Don't just stand there, you pricks. Chase that dickhead down. Don't just stand there, you pricks. Chase that Haitian dickhead down. So yeah, I have the. I have a pretty recent version of the games, which means a lot of songs were cut out. Um, I just said all the songs that were cut out. Luckily, I'm I'm so I'm happy no songs were cut from Wave 103, which is what I'm listening to right now. Sunglasses at night. I got that song stuck in my head on the first day of school for some reason. I don't know why. It was just random, but because uh, because I didn't get to use the 
uh, Kruger, which is what you're supposed to use in the mission. I decided to use the Kruger for the final person we're supposed to kill. So there you go. I got to show off me using the Kruger. It's pretty powerful. But there's more powerful weapons down the line. I'm, I, I'm taking his bike to there. So this is the Sanchez. They're they're always yellow just for this mission. And we go back to this marker with him in his car. And here we go. Take heads. And it's all down to you. What is your name? Tommy. I see you soon, amigo, I think. Shit. Where's that guy, Lance? One thousand dollars, cool. And I'm gonna take this Cuban Hermes, because uh, Cuban Hermes is a cool car and it's a... Uh... What was it gonna... Oh yeah, the Cuban Hermes is like a, a car in uh, GTA 3, the Diablo Stallion, because it's black. It's a gang car, it sounds exactly the same, and it has flames around the car. So this is like the Diablo Stallion of Vice City, if you know what I mean. So, we're, you're probably wondering what I'm doing. Well, I'm driving this bridge because we unlock this island, but not after... Not until this phone call that comes so I was gonna trigger it right now it's a phone call from Ricardo Diaz, Tommy, it's Ricardo Diaz. I want to thank you for looking out for me my man something interesting is gonna happen prick here Cortez. he said you're the real deal my friend prick well, I don't know why he calls him a prick it's because of this scene like you. all I have now is thick heads thick heads everywhere yo I make you real alright so watch this <laughs> the gates just disappear and they open like that so I hope I amazed somebody in case they never saw that before. So let me let me just show you here. So so we have not unlocked the second island yet, but because Diaz missions are open, which he's located on Starfish Island, um, we we have Prawn Island unlocked, but uh, we've now unlocked Starfish Island. We have locked a new part of the map. It's it's not big, but it's a small part of the map bigger than Prawn Island which we unlocked so we have that area unlocked and uh, yeah there are hidden packages on Starfish Island but those we can take care of later same with Rampages but uh, and unique stunt jump but we can always do that down the line so machete I got a machete and uh, yeah there's a machete located there now I want to say this car has some special ability so it's obvious it's not damage proof but uh, it's not fireproof so is it bulletproof it, this ha car has some special ability, but I can't remember what it is. Die cop. Okay, this car is not bulletproof, so I don't know what car, what that ability is, but uh, I don't. It's probably explosion proof. But thanks for watching this part, which was really interesting. We had a weird glitch happen, and we unlocked Starfish Island and did the mission Guardian Angel. So see you for the next part. Which is Waste the Wife, that second phone mission from for Mr. Black, which was triggered from all shootouts, so see you there.